Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. You can thank um, Stitching May, Megan, for that. And, um, long, well, not long. It's this, I don't, sh uh, la, la. maybe I'll edit that out. I don't know. I don't know how to edit out videos. Anyways, um, <laughs> Who is that sad, strange little girl in the camera? It's me! Anyways. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Um, I made beef wellington for dinner, and my husband absolutely loved it, and I must say I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It is, what time is it? It is 7.46 and at night. My husband is out watching a hockey game and I wanted some Chelsea time so I decided to this would be the perfect time to do this video and um, so life update um, I'm in Vegas been in Vegas been in Vegas I've been in Vegas I've been in Las Vegas since la since January 31st of last year. Um, yeah, life just happened and I just didn't really feel like making a video. And I was working. I'm not working anymore. I'm actually volunteering at a place called Spirit Therapies. And it's with horses and um, little kids. You know, some of them have disabilities. Some are just, you know, not as confident. And so they ride the horses or they groom the horses. Um, anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, and I don't think I posted it on Stitch Mania or anything because that's not Stitchy related. But my thumb has healed. I was having too much fun with a knife and I was actually slicing French bread. And the knife just got to my thumb before I moved it out of the way. And yeah, I did not have to have stitches, luckily. But the doctor did use some kind of glue to glue it together. And I can tell you right now, guys, um, it's, it's a weird, numb feeling. Like, my nerves, um, I pray, will come back. But if they don't, I may have to live with this forever, and it's just, it's it's not comfortable. Like, I'm, I'm holding this piece of fabric, right? And it's like, I know I'm holding it, but at the same time, I can't really feel it, and it's just, it's just weird. It's just the thumb, and it's just like this, um, the inside of the pad on the tip, and it's just not comfortable. Anyways, I would not be surprised or, um the word I'm looking for. Surprised. Um, or just like, I'm, I'm not disappointed or anything if anybody has fast forwarded to the um, actual stitching portion of this video. Um, I just thought I'd give you a quick little update and it, it, I mean, fairly quick. I mean, three minutes, not that bad. So I will stop rambling and um I contemplated on doing like a full whip parade because you know I haven't <laughs> I haven't um been around in a long time but um I don't know how long my camera will let me do this I charged it before so hopefully it's not gonna let go on me I have told myself this year not to start anything new but I um I believe I started two new things this year. Let me check my handy dandy note cards. Okay, yeah, so only two things so far this year. Um, hopefully, cross fingers, I won't start anything else, but uh, I cannot promise anything. There are just so many things I want to start. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the new starts. Um, so this one, I don't have finished product, product, I don't have a finished picture to show you, or, um, charts, picture, whatever you want to call it, because it's a sal, it's, 
it's a mystery style of sorts, but you kind of, like, have an idea of what's coming. They're like, well, not the certain character, but you know, like, it's going to be Disney related. It's a, um, it's a, it's the, um, Disney mystery, I'm probably not saying this right, but Disney mystery style, that creative, um, cre creatively crafting website is doing. And, um, yeah, they come in panels, and so this is where I'm at. I have, so these are all based on, you know, Disney characters. This is called, um, I think it's called The Little Mermaid. And then you got the first believer, as we all know, that sh that's Snow White. And then, um, oops, uh, I forgot the little glass slipper, which is Cinderella. I cannot see through the camera whatsoever. And then this one, you might think, oh, that's, that's Aurora, but it's not. This is actually Giselle. This is the Enchantress. Um... Um, help that a little bit. Uh, whoop. So, um, Giselle from um, in, um, Enchanted, that Disney movie. Actually, I haven't seen Enchanted before, but that's Giselle. And then a little bit closer up of hand. Hold the phone for two seconds. But, blah, blah, blah. so. This one's based on Cinderella. I'm trying to figure out which way to go. And then you got... This one's based on Snow White and then Ariel. I'm sorry if this is not picking up very well. So, yeah, I started that one because, like, I saw, like, the previews of what everything, you know could possibly look like and I just was like I have to do it um I'm actually thinking of I'm still contemplating again here I'm contemplating on whether or not I want to make those individual like no sew cubes or just make it one big thing like one big um piece and that's my original plan was to make one big piece but now I'm thinking they would be like so cute as no sew cubes but that would probably be that would probably mean me going to have to get new, um, not new fabric, but more fabric, because I just don't know if all 20 panels will fit on that. And because of the fabric I chose, the count, I'm having to do it one over one, um, and everybody else is probably doing it two over, um, two over one? I mean, one over, no, two over two, two over two, excuse me, I think. I still never got the concept of that. Um, let's see here. I do, um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm not, I do. I do have a, um, picture of my next one that I, oh, um, sorry. I started that sow on February 2nd of this year. And then, um, the next one I started, like, just recently. I believe it was, um, what the, my notes here. This is April, right? Yeah, this is April. <laughs> um, I started on April 3rd. It's called The Nightmare Before Christmas. But lighting is making it so hard for you to see. That might be a little bit better. But yeah, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, <laughs> I'm not far on this at all. Uh, that's my teeny little itty bitty start right there. I'm actually, I'm doing this one one over one on 28 count. Just your regular even weave kind of fabric. And I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it a lot. I like it a lot. It's not super hard. It's not like hard to stitch on, but I mean, it's, it's different than what I'm used to, I guess. Um, let's see though. So those are like two, um... new starts and then um the one um two new starts so basically this year i've been focusing on that um disney mystery style and freedom for all 
which, so this is, so those are my new starts whips. So, um, Freedom For All, I've been mainly working on, and I've been trying so hard to get page four done. I'm very close, but, um, I took this out of the, uh, my, um, my scroll frame for you guys so you could see the entire thing. I might have to stand back, I don't know, but I have pages one through three done, and I'm working on page four. It's very hard to see. So that page with all the blank stitches in between, that's page four. Um, my goal is to finish this this year. I only have, once I finish page, once I finish page four, then I only have page five and six, and then seven, eight, and nine are like really, really small, small pages. So if I can, if I can, if I can get this done this year, you guys, I would be all but thrilled that did not come out right I would be if I'd be all but thrilled that means I'm not gonna be thrilled but I am gonna be thrilled so I mean hello Chelsea make some sense with y'all with what I'm saying girl so yeah I'm like that's why I've mainly been working on this is because I really want to finish it this year and because I have so many full coverage pieces that I just, I, I'm just, I'm not going to get everything done before I'm gone. And it's really sad because, like, um, Stephanie is, like, so good at getting all her projects done. Jessie Marie, she's so good at getting so much progress. And I just don't know how you guys do it. I know that, um, that Magical Stitches is really keeping you guys af afloat if you will, like, like, really going, motivated, motivated is the word I was looking for, so, yeah, um, let's see, though, so that's basically it in terms of whips and new starts, I do have a couple of finishes, um, um, in no particular order, um, oh, I started, um, I started Freedom For All back in July of 2014, now you know why I want to get it done. <laughs> it's my oldest whip at the moment. Um, I have no idea if I showed my finished Snow White on camera. I think I, I believe I show, I think I picked, blah, 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 blah. I believe I took a picture and posted it on Stitch Mania. Her all finished, like fully finished, fully finished FFO. Um. On Stitch Medium, but I don't think I ever showed it on camera, um, and maybe I'll do that next time. However, I'd be taking the camera to her because she's up on the, she's up on a wall, and I don't really want to take it down. Um, okay, so uh, this one I don't like. I said I don't know if the if these might not be going in order, but this is Clover, and I finished her on December thirty first of, of last year. She was actually my last fin obviously very very last finish of last year and i really wanted to get her fully finished by um taking her to hobby lobby and getting her framed and i have a um what's that a um I don't know what it's called. All I know is that, like, I found the frame, or I did the the whole entire thing with, you know, who was at the, um, at the, uh, framing counter, and an estimate, like, an estimate of how much it would cost, and it was just, it was, like, roughly $60, and I'm like, I can't do that, because I have another one that I got fully finished with them, and I can, I'm like, I can only do this, like, one at a time now. But yeah, that's her. Yeah, 
this is, um, this is done on a light oatmeal, 14 count, you know. Um, oh, this, um, in case if you're wondering, this is a Ren Dow design by Hannah Dow, Dale, 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 Dale. Just in case if you're wondering, I got this from a magazine. Well, it was like a, an extra gift in a magazine. It was like a calendar and it has different things. I'm pretty sure I've showed it before. But yeah, so there is that one finish. And then, um, so that's that one. And then, I finally finished hot chocolate. I finished this this year, February, um, February 15th. Actually, I want to say I posted a picture of this on, um, on Stitch Mania. But yeah, finished. Started this on August 1st, 2015, and I finished it this year on February 15th. And of course it was going to do that because I need some kind of backing thing. I wish I would have thought about that before I did this. What is that? Oh, it's an extra piece of something. I don't know. Um, maybe kind of. I don't know if that's going to help at all. Maybe a little bit more. But, um, here I'll. But yeah, you can't see that at all, Chelsea. Um, I'm gonna. Ah! Sorry! I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Okay, this is not working for me. It's not working. I don't know what else to do. I really don't know what else to do, you guys. I'm sorry. I've never, this is, this is another reason why I don't, haven't really done videos is because, in a while, is because, like, the lighting everywhere in our house sucks, and... I just don't have a good camera. And you can totally see me through this. Hello! <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just not popping up. Maybe I'll try, try showing you that again when it's fully finished, which is another thing that I tried to do at Hobby Lobby to see, um, how, <laughs> how much that one would cost. And, uh, let's just say... Um, we're not doing it this year. So, that was it. Well, that wasn't it. What am I talking about? Um, I have two others that I believe... Oh, hey, I don't know why I didn't write that one down. Okay, anyways, uh, this is Brown Checkered Cat. I started this... It was... It, the, 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 Brown Checker Cat. It was a design works kit on just what it came with, which is 14 count white Ada. I started it on March 11th, 2018. Finished it on January 15th of this year, and I just recently got it fully finished. There's a little bit of a glare, but I just, I get a little too irritated with the camera, which, like, I just don't, yeah, I guess I, just get, I guess I just get frustrated easy, which is why I don't do videos very often, but anyways, of pony baloney in the background. So that's that one. And then the last one that I have, um, this is, um, it's just the skunk from the Woodland Babies. I don't know if, if you guys know of that magazine where they have different, like, babies on there and I did I only did the skunk and then I it's by Stony Creek but I gave away the um 
I gave away the um, chart or whatever it's called. But I named her Ruby. She is on 14 count Ada, just white. Um, I started her on May 8th, finished her on December, May 8th of 2017, finished her on December 29th of 2017, and I barely just got her, or I actually framed her myself, um, fully finished on March 2nd of this year. This one might show up better because it's black, but... Yeah. See, there's little Ruby! She's so cute! I love skunks. If any if you remember, skunks are very near and dear to my heart. There was a skunk at my... Ah! Uh. Mm. Not, not rehearsal, um, like the after party, not the after party, not the ceremony, the, um, oh, fiddlesticks, guys, I'm losing my mind, um, well, I think y'all know what I mean, like, the, the dancing, the eating, the food, you know, the, the, the thing after the ceremony, that thing, the, um, the little baby skunk showed up, um, luckily at the very end when everybody was pretty much gone, and, and then me and my husband saw a skunk on our honeymoon, and I just love skunks, um, I love all animals, mm, but I love skunks, and so yeah. So those were all my new starts, whips, and finishes, and two fully finished objects. Um, I do have a little bit of a haul because um, me and Stitching May decided to swap um, charts because I gave her the all 12 of the uh, Santa's Village um, series. I told her she did not need to send me anything. I told her, no, no, you can have them. I don't need anything in return, but no, she insisted. And um, this is what she sent me. So I'm gonna start with the cute little needle minder. And again, it, it's a little hard for me to hold stuff in my left hand between my forefinger and my thumb, but the cute little. I'm pretty sure it's an owl. Another animal that I love is an owl, but either way, it's a cute little bird. And then I've been, um, well, I'll start with this one. Um, uh, Katamar Designs? It's a Halloween cross stitch piece and it's gonna go, it's called Happy Halloween and it's gonna go perfect in my little Halloween decor area. But look how cute that is. I, and it's perfect because this is a cat and I already have um, Alley Quartet if anybody recalls what that pattern is. But I, uh, I have Alley Quartet up there and yeah, she's gonna go super good. Is that coming out backwards to you, or is it just me? <laughs> I think it's because I'm looking at the camera instead of seeing it as a video. I don't know. I'm weird. And then I, so I've never done Mill Hill kits, and I told her that, like, I've always wanted to try a Mill Hill kit, and I... I gave her, like, different options, thinking she would only give me one, right? But no, she got me three. Um, so this one is sea turtle, and, okay, I love all animals, you guys, but I think sea turtles might just happen to be, like, my favorite animal of all time. I love sea turtles. I love owls. I love sea turtles. I love horses. But yeah, there's just something about sea turtles that I absolutely adore. And then uh, the jeweled pair, I've just always thought was gorgeous. And 
And then she also sent me Snowy Owlette. Owlette. So I am very anxious and curious to get started on these. I'm probably going to do this sea turtle first. But yeah, I've just always been curious about those. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, like I said, you know, things have been happening. Um, the thumb was a major one. And then I had been working. I'm volunteering now. Um, yeah. That's about it. I hope everybody has had a wonderful 2018 and that your 2019 is going really well. And I cannot believe that it's already April. It's going way too fast. Everything's going way too fast. I'm like, I'm stressing about how fast things are going because I want to get all my projects done before I die. I'm just, you know what? I'm going to live forever, everybody, okay? Note, note this in your books. Chelsea's going to live forever so she can get all her projects done. <laughs> all right, well, I got... I, gonna go have my Chelsea time now. Well, this is part of it, but you know, my, my just sitting on the couch, eating junk food, watching TV kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Happy stitching.